Nice to meet you, where you been? I can show you incredible things Magic, madness, heaven, sin Saw you there in a thought Oh my God, look at that face You look like my next mistake When I sing, I think I feel my most authentic I think I feel my most exposed It's like when you finally say something you've been meaning to say and it was uncomfortable but you're like, oh Thank God, that's off my chest. So it's gonna be forever, or it's gonna go down in flames. Before you went um, uh, on a clear way, on a, on a mean, clear day. What before? Uh, I pick songs exclusively because they seem to resonate with me, or there's typically something about the lyric. I feel uh, most connected to my voice when I am a little moved by something. Donc, uh, in the rhythm. Uh, the, the There's a standard um, entitled Every Time We Say Goodbye, which the title in itself is just so, um, I don't know who can't relate to that. <laughs> it's, it's dramatic, but I think that's how those feelings actually feel in the moment. You fill my eager heart with such desire Every kiss you give Sets my soul on fire I feel your warmth so tender The thing I like about his voice is the passion and the storytelling. He's an incredibly technical singer, but he's also an incredibly soulful singer at the same time. And to combine those two elements, it's, uh, yeah, you have the world on the string when you can do that. I first realized that I thought I could sing probably in the house. I can't think of a morning that I didn't wake up without my dad playing music and singing along as he walked through the house. So I'd say my dad is where I think I got my love of music from. When I was younger, we went to church pretty devoutly. And, you know, they were like, oh, you sound, you have a great voice. You should sing on the team, maybe. And they asked me eventually to play piano for the youth worship team, but they never let me sing for anything other than that. And they directly told my mother that, you know, it's because he's gay. When I think of who I am and who I was told I needed to be growing up, it was always, you know, you need to be this machismo thing. You need to be more masculine. Oh, boys don't cry this much. You're so emotional, yada, yada. I think now, um, with loving what I do um, and learning to love myself more and pursuing what I want to pursue, I think, has really helped me to develop a more assured understanding of who I am and what I need. I was writing is about a new person in my life whose predominant language is French. Does this kind of situation, a, a, a new love in your life, does it bring music out of you sometimes? Oh, <laughs> I think, I think uh, new <laughs> relationships are almost all that I write about, <laughs> but I have to intentionally not do that. Sometimes I'm like, write about something not love related. <laughs> Just see what that's like. <laughs> After Cornish, I moved to Portland, where I ended up going to Portland State University and doing my master's in jazz studies. 
and continued working there the last two years as an adjunct professor for the vocal jazz program. So that when we go up, we're already, we're kind of already in the shape of the up. Yeah. Currently, my life is pretty interesting. To have a number of things I think I've wanted actually sort of happen. I'm like, oh my god, <laughs> you can actually have things you like. So. I met Jimmy Harrod less than a year ago. Jimmy came down to the loft, and and it was like, wow, um, this is what an incredible presence, what an incredible voice. When I was being he never said, It soars, it's transcendent, it's smooth, it's just, it's otherworld. And so uh, shortly thereafter, he made his debut with us in Los Angeles and then San Francisco, and he's been singing with us ever since. I think this one was yours. I'm not sure. It's really up to you. I'm going to be doing more touring with them in the fall, and I, I really love it. I love your dress. Oh, we gotta help you. you. Are you doing an interview? Mm hmm. Oh, that's fun. <laughs> Please welcome the fantastic Jimmy Harad. No, I am just a man. I would say at present my dream is to love what I do and to love someone and um, be loved in return and they're kind of both important. I think I've lived enough of my life being malleable for other people and that involves how I sing, what I want to sing, what I want to wear, what I want to do. I just don't really want to humor that anymore. so. I will sing songs about a man, and I will wear what I want to wear, and I will love the person whom I want to love, so that's, that's that. <laughs>